think I just heard a nurse. No way, Michael. Come on, man. You reneging on me? I'm what? Reneging, man. It means we had a deal. Now you're coming to break it? That hurt me, man. We didn't have a deal, Penny. You asked me to think about it. I said I would. Think about it. That's not the message I got. Well, listen to this message, Pen. No. Plain and simple, no. What part of that don't you get? What are you guys talking about? Oh, uh, just a sec. It's Pin. He wants 1117 and the ranch to get together for some kind of celebrity baseball game here at the ranch. Can you believe it? Oh, yeah, yeah. We already said yes to that. What? Well, juvenile corrections doesn't seem to mind as long as the kids don't leave the property. Kids will have a great time, and the media will uh, be there, and it'll help us with our fundraising a bit. And the fact that I don't want the ranch kids or the 1117 kids or the ranch program to be put under the spotlight like this didn't enter your decision at all? You are the one that doesn't want to be under the spotlight, not the kids. And you don't care? No. Ken, I changed my mind. I think it's a great idea. Oh, good, Michael, good. Well, you know, I thought it over. Elena finally set you straight. If you ever go over my head again like this. <laughs> I tell you what, I'll, I'll call you later, all right? All right. Nifty. I wonder who's going to be pitching for the celebrities. Jack Nicholson? Very funny, Michael. Jack's unavailable. How come you never told me about him before? Because you're too young. Besides, we didn't have no reason before now. How do you know he still remembers you? He will. Don't you worry, Trey. He will. So then about 10 seconds later, right, he comes back on the phone and he says, I've decided we're going to do it after all. That's great. So they're in. Yes. All we need now is to get Kevin to be our manager. Boom. Pin? Claudette? Hi. Hi. I found Misha down on Pender and uh, she told me you work here now. Yeah, yeah. Where you been all these years, man? Uh, I've been in Seattle. We just come up for a little while. That's, that's great, man. Come here, girl. Come here, man. <laughs> This is Walt, my partner. It's 1117 here. Hi. Hi, how are you doing? Good, thanks. And who's this little mosquito? Don't call me then. Cool. Is he your boy? Yeah, his name's Trey. He's uh, your boy too. Trey's your son, Pin. Together. I didn't see you again after that. How am I supposed to feel? You could feel some responsibility Respons for the child. How old is he? Eleven. You remember the night that uh, we... Yes, got... I remember the night. You don't have to remind me about the night. Don't get me wrong, man. All I'm saying is... I, I just, how can I be sure that this is really my, my child? First time then you know it was that's when it happened you're his daddy okay okay let's say i believe you i don't care if you believe me or not all this time i ain't never asked you for nothing 
Just this once. All I am asking you to do is just to look out for him for a little while. That's all. He knows, huh? I told him on the way over. <laughs> nice surprise. You didn't tell him about me before that? He didn't need to know. Besides, he could do worse. What do you say? So, um, what do you think? You hear we might get our own NBA franchise out there? What do you think? I like basketball because I'm black? Hey, I'm just trying to make conversation. You don't like basketball? I like it. Well, there you go. Maybe if uh, we get our own team, you and Pink can go to a game together. Why? Because he's supposed to be my daddy? No, because you like basketball. Give me a break, kid. I'll give you a break. I'll break your head. I'll break it over my knee like it's a big egg. Pin? The kid's being mean to me in here. So where is he you have to go in such a hurry? Out of the city for a few days. Maybe a week. For what? You don't got to know what for. No? Let me see your arm. I don't use no more. Look, you don't show me your arm. I don't take tray. It's up to you. You happy? Just because you don't have no new tracks don't mean you're not using. Once a junkie, always a junkie. Claudette, why are you doing this now, man? Trey needs you. I need you. One week. Are you going to help us or not? Jamaica's got no responsibility. Oh, yeah? Who told you that? Everybody knows that. Well, that is just propaganda, man. Your mom was asking if I'd look after you for a while. Well, I say yes. What do you say? Talk like that. Everything going to be all right. You'll see. He hates me. Hope you can do better. Thanks, man. Well, I guess if there's going to be a bunch of people running around here, we better clean up all the rocks and manure and stuff. Oh, all right. He slides into third, and he's gross. I was concerned more with people's safety, Roy. If you build it, they will come. Vic? Yes, boss? Cut it out, will you? Cut what out? We're gonna have to clean all the weeds out of this field. It's gonna take a week to do the whole thing. You don't sound like your heart's in this. Well, I know it could be fun, but... Taking a bunch of kids from the ranch and adding a bunch of kids from 1117, then adding celebrities on top of that, and then media on top of that, is scary. Oh, I think it's gonna go off at least as well as the rodeo we had last time you were out of town. Oh, you do, do you? It'll be fine. Yeah. If you build it, they will come. How did you do that? Do what? Nothing. I'm serious. The, the softball game's at a ranch just outside of Mission. Well, they're not all criminals. No, I, I see, I don't think you understand. We're actually trying to help these... Hello? Oh, boy, you know, someone gets big in the opera world and suddenly they don't want to help their community. 
We'll try calling somebody from my list then. Nobody from Star Trek is going to want to come all the way out here for a softball game. Well, how about somebody from the old show? No. They can't be that busy. Got any uh, celebrities yet? This isn't about celebrities, Michael. It's about, you know, local personalities and politicians trying to help their community. Buddy Hackett? Yes, I like him. He's very good. I like him. I know. Hi, do you represent Buddy Hackett? The kid's just with the Jamaican now and they're entering a building. The mother still hasn't showed up. We don't know where the hell she got to. Over. Oh, one more thing. This is a good friend of mine's place, and she's out of town, so... What, is she your girlfriend? No, man, she's not my girlfriend. So you don't have your own place, huh? Yes, I got my own place. I got a nice place. But this is where we're sleeping tonight. I don't like it here. What? Beggars can't be choosers. You want to sleep on the street? I slept on the street before. Big man sleep on the street. Plenty of times. Yeah, well, so have I. Even though it's not exactly my style, it's better. What's wrong? What are you looking at? Hey, eh? something out here? That car on the street? It's a car. So what? You in trouble? No. Well, then, neither me, so chill. Out of sight, out of mind. Man, how come this counter so low? Was your girlfriend a midget or something? She is not my girlfriend, and she's in a wheelchair, so don't say nothing bad about Amanda. Just wondering, God. Listen, man, everything in here is so low so she can reach. Like this, fish food. Nice and low. So do you really think you're my daddy? You want the honest truth? I don't know. But I could be. I know that much. Your mom and I, we were... very sweet on each other when we were younger. I don't think so either. My daddy couldn't be Jamaican. Man, what you got against Jamaicans? You're not African. Let me tell you something, you man. Your African ancestors and my African ancestors might have been sold in a different port. But that don't say they didn't come from the same place. You understand? Anybody ever tell you about Marcus Garvey? Well, Africanity alive and strong in Jamaica. Okay? We're not so different as you may think. I'm just saying you're not like me. Well, let me tell you something, Mosquito. If I was your daddy, I'd be proud. Why? What, do I need a reason? What? Somebody out there? Hey, Fred, don't hurt him enough. Don't hurt him. See if the drugs are in here. Take them both down the station. We'll have a nice conversation. Where is the member? Trafficking, narcotics, and murder. You can fill in a rest later if there's any more. Take them. Hey, hey, don't worry, I'll fix it. to get down here, man. Pin, what's wrong? Everything. I didn't do nothing, and these cops just bust into the apartment, and they took me and my kid, and they locked us up in two different rooms. 
Your kid? Yeah. I'll explain when you get down here. Pin, what are you talking about? Listen, Michael, you're my one phone call. I don't have nobody else I can trust around here. Kevin not answering his phone and... I'll be there as soon as I can, ma'am, but it might take a little while. Yeah, whenever. No, I'm gonna... Soon? Pin, what did you mean when you said your kid? Pin? Great. I'll miss the traffic. Down that way. Excuse me. I wonder if you could help me find a friend of mine. His name is Penn. He's a Jamaican kid. You're kidding me? Do you know where he is? He's a friend of yours? Yeah. My name is Michael Terry. Oh, yeah, yeah. The guy with the ranch and the kids and that whole thing, right? That makes sense. Detective Hepburn. Nice friend you got there. Can you tell me where he is? No, you can't talk to him now. He's giving a statement. But listen, they don't let me smoke in this building anymore. You want to come outside with me? I'll tell you what I can. These people, you know, they pop each other off like their lives are worth a buck and a half. What kind of people are we talking about? Oh, I'm sorry. How politically incorrect of me. Excuse me. Deal is in hookers, all right? No color reference intended. What's this got to do with Pim? He used to deal, didn't he? Small time, a long time ago. He was out as soon as he got in. That's what he says. Anyway, we didn't find any drugs at his place. Can't place him at the scene of the murder, so... Murder. Okay, here's what went down, short form. Day before yesterday, we find a body in this flop house, knife in the back. Ugly. Turns out the guy with the knife sticking out of his back is a major league dealer, heroin. Now, we're pretty certain, like we're 99% certain, this guy had a couple of kilos on him when he got the surprise in his back. But there's no drugs found at the scene. The room was rented to a woman named Claudette Jenkins, who lived there with her son, Trey Jenkins. We followed them both to the kid's father. You're, you're Jamaican, friend. Ben doesn't have a son. No? Well, he does now. Anyway, we figure maybe he's in on the hit for the two kilos, and yada, 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 they're both upstairs. Some idiot rookie from another division lost a mother about 12 hours ago. We got nothing on your friend, so he's been released. But listen, since you're the expert here, and since social services would call you in on this anyway, would you look in on the kid for us? Pin's son? Why? Because he's 11 years old, Doc. And that makes him the youngest murderer we ever had through the front door. You can't stop me from talking to him, man. The boy just made a full confession. Frankly, we don't have the faintest idea hey, what to do with I know my him. rights, you know. I know my rights. You're released, pal. You want to hang on to that attitude, you can wait outside. You see that, Michael? My boy's in there. He won't even let me see him. Ken, are you sure that's your son? Could be. That's enough, right? Yeah. Well, whatever. He needs me, right? I'm waiting outside. You tell him that for me? Yeah, I will. And for you, you better treat him right because he's a little boy. Would you get him out of my face, please? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, all night. Jeez, the guy's amazing. Come on. Trey. You can electrocute me because I did it. That's not going to happen. You can put that out of your mind. My name's Michael. I'm a good friend of your father's. He ain't my father. No? Even if he was, it don't matter. Yeah, it does matter. He's real worried about what might happen to you. Well, he's stupid. Got a stupid name, and I'm going to jail. What does he care? You're not going to go to jail. I killed a man. I'm going to jail, then you're going to electrocute me. I know what happens. That's not going to happen. You mind if I ask him some questions? Go for it. Do you know the name of the man that was killed? Bastion. You know? Everybody knew Bastion. Supposed to be some big deal on the street. What was he doing at your house? Was he trying to hurt somebody? Look, I don't want to talk no more. The other cop said I didn't have to say anything I didn't want to. Yeah, that's right, Trey. But Dr. Terry here is only trying... I did what I did. Now I gotta pay the price. Just get it over with. Listen, Trey. If you can tell us where your mother is, what we'll do is we'll make sure you two can be together, all right?
Okay, look, you've been up all night. I'll take you back to your room now. How did you get here before me? I got up early. Miss Woods, thanks for coming in. Yeah. I thought as long as Dr. Terry was here already, we'd avail ourselves of his expertise. Your proof? Of course. What do you think, Doc? About Trey? I think he's scared to death. Yeah? We think he's telling the truth. Well, if you've already decided, why bother asking me? Hey, we don't decide anything, Doctor. That's for judges and juries. But whenever somebody comes out and says, hey, I killed somebody, we're inclined to consider the possibility that he did. Now, do you acknowledge that possibility? Yeah. Thank you. That's all I wanted to know. Just one problem. There's no law in the books that covers this. Just you yeah. You got it. I mean, if this was L.A. or Florida or someplace, it'd already be locked up. But us Canadians haven't quite got the hang of kids knocking people off yet. I called social services to try to figure out where to place them for the moment. But let me tell you something. I won't be surprised if there's a push to get him the maximum detention sentence, maybe long enough to eventually stand trial. As an adult? He took a life. You don't know that? He confessed, all right? I didn't put those words in his mouth. A body was found in his house. His fingerprints were found on the knife. Well, why did he do it then? You ask him that? No, he didn't have much to say about that. I mean, his mother's an addict. The victim was a dealer. Maybe they had a little argument and the kid got mad. I mean, a knife in the back just isn't that big a deal to these people. That's the second time you used that phrase. I'm not sure I like it. Dealers and hookers, Dr. Terry. Dealers and hookers. When can we have him released? Until the hearing is all yours, you can put him where you like. The public can't know about this. Don't tell me the law is protecting juveniles, Miss Woods. I know all about them. I'll get the paperwork started. Well? They're going to release him into my custody for a psychological evaluation. Rachel's going to bring him out when they finish the paperwork. What about my custody? Well, without your name being on Trey's birth certificate, it would take a paternity test for the system to acknowledge you. And I got none to say about it? Pin, a couple of days ago, you didn't even know he existed. But you're coming out on Saturday, right, for the baseball game, and you bring in a van load of kids, arrange to have a couple of days off. It'll be good for Trey, spend some one-on-one -on -one time with you while I'm doing the program. And Vic will put you up for a couple of nights. Okay, what about right now, then? One step at a time, man. I'll see you Saturday. Thanks. Okay. I'll be there. I said he was charged, Eleanor. I didn't say he did it. Yeah, but still, if he did, should he be here? He's 11 years old. Where else can he go? You're right, you're right, you're right. It's just that I have trouble imagining that stuff. I know, so do I. But even if he did do it, I can't just walk away. Rachel's bringing him here in a couple of hours. So where are we going again? Well, we're going up to Michael Terry's ranch. Takes about an hour and a half. It's gonna be boring, huh? Trey! Trey? Trey? Leave me alone, man. We can't work this out, man. We're going to work it out. I said leave me alone. You ate my daddy. I don't want nothing to do with you. Just get out of my way. I'm going to come visit you, Trey. Whether you like it or not. Yeah, I got two of my own. Pain in the ass, aren't they? What do you do? Kill someone? What are you hanging around here for? A sleaze bag? Or chase an ambulance or something? Oh, man. Don't tell me, I guess. <laughs> no comment. Hey, Trey. Welcome to the ranch, man. 
I'll give you the royal tour in a minute. The rest of the kids have all gone out for a ride. Pretty nice, eh, Trey? Get away from me! No one's gonna hurt you. Trey. that little tour we talked so much about. It's all right. Uh, Rachel, we'll walk back. Take care of my goldfish while I'm out of town, huh, Pin? That's what Amanda said, right? What am I going to tell her? Don't tell her anything. I'll clean it up. Thank God Bubbles is okay. Yeah, Bubbles is fine. Tell Kevin I'm not coming into work today. He noticed. What happened? Tell him I need the weekend off too, okay? Yeah, yeah. What happened, Pin? The only reason Claude had sent Trey to me in the first place was because they were in trouble. So the police followed us back here last night. Busted into the place and mashed it up. And arrested both of us. You know what they say? They said Trey killed a man. Get out of town. No, that's what Claudette decided to do. Leave me with the kid and split. Nice. Real nice. How do I get myself into these things, Walt? Because you're a nice guy, Pen. Well, oh, don't bother with that, man. I... No, I mean it. You're too nice. You don't really know he's your kid. I mean, realistically. I'm saying if Claudette's whole plan was to bail in the first place, she would have went looking for a mark with the right history. Me. You. Ever seen a horse before? On TV. You can't ride them on TV. Out here, you get to be a real cowboy. All cowboys are white people. Well, that's not true. Maybe in Hollywood movies, but not in real life. In real life, there's a lot of uh, genuine African-American cowboys in the Old West. I don't want to ride a horse. Well, nobody's going to force you to. You're just missing out on something. Come on, I'll show you the ranch house. And this is the main ranch house where we have our group meetings and, and our food. And I wanted you to meet Eleanor, our administrator, but... What's an administrator? Good question. In here is the kitchen uh, where we trade off cooking uh, meals. Do you know how to cook? Macaroni once. For your mom? Yeah. Macaroni is a very big seller around here. Michael, are you in here? You're kidding, really? That's... Well, we're a very, very big fan. Miss James just came in the room now. She'll tell you all about it. Oh, okay. Thanks. Buddy Hack. Oh. Hello, this is Eleanor James speaking. Can I... Hello? <laughs> Hello? Michael. Where you been, man? I've been checking on the kids. It's what we do here, remember? Yeah, yeah. Listen, Michael, if you had told me 
yesterday what was going to happen today. I wouldn't bother to get out of bed. I don't think we've heard the whole story yet. Might not be as bad as it seems. It's pretty crucial from where I stand right now, man. I hear you. Hang tough. I'm all right. So how's my boy doing? You got him on a horse yet? No, not yet. There's a lot of fear and anger in him, but I don't think there's a killer. If anything, there's a little lost kid. And if I find him, I think I'll find the truth. Hey, Trey, it's after lights out, man. You should be asleep. I know it's been hard. You don't know nothing. I know it hurts. Who cares? My mama said pain goes away just like people who make you feel it. I'd like to meet her someday. I'm never gonna see her again. Why's that? You know, if you told me where she is, we could go see her. And, and if she needs help... I don't know where she is. Jab with your left. Good. You know, you could be a pretty good boxer someday with some help. Good boxers are black. Ain't no white guy gonna tell me nothing. I used to box. Lennox Lewis will whoop your ass. <laughs> yeah. I wonder if Eleanor asked him to the game. What are you talking about? Nothing. Go to bed. Tomorrow I'll give you some lessons. You mean I'll give you a lesson? All right. Whatever. Now go to bed. Now. We thought we'd get some practice in, you know? Yeah? Where's... Oh, Trey's just finishing up breakfast. He'll be here in a minute. Hey, Walt, you made it. Good. Dr. Terry. <laughs> uh, I thought I said that we'd supply the equipment. Uh, his own bat's kind of special to him, Doc, if that's okay. Oh, yeah? Oh, sure. Hey, you play ball, huh? No. Walt. <clears throat> Walt, can I talk to you for a minute? Uh, yeah. I understand the Grand Prix is important, but so is this. It's very important. Well, you were supposed to be the first base person. Who am I supposed to get now? It's a short notice. Yeah. Great. Uh-huh. Oh, I'm, oh I, we can't wait to meet you. I'm so happy. Okay, thank you. Bye. Well, you got a celebrity team lined up? Hmm, absolutely. Guess who I lined up this morning? Who? Mm -hmm. Who? Uh, Winston Record. Who? The TV star. Eleanor, you promised these kids celebrities. But he's a celebrity. Well, I never heard of him. Buddy Hackett. Now, there's somebody I've heard of. Yo, Trey. How's it going, man? It's going. Cool, cool. You going to play baseball with us later? Uh, Pen, I thought maybe you guys would like to sit the game out, spend some time together. Going to be a lot of media there. Ah, uh, yeah, I get the message. That's fine by me. What you said, Trey? Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Victor Kahn, and it's a scorcher out here today. On this uh, fine day, I'd like to welcome you to the ranch, where uh, we're going to be pitting uh, celebrities and near celebrities alike versus uh, kids from the ranch program and 1117. <laughs> Look at him. There's autographs and his hair. Hey, Winston? Oh, what's wrong with his hair? No, it looks so... <laughs> like yours? Mine looks like this in the morning when I wake up. Well, once again, I'd like to remind you that uh, the bats are for hitting the ball only during the course of the game. Hey. And in the interest of good sportsmanship, let's keep it to that, shall we? And uh, everybody... Have a safe uh, outing.
Oh, that's... I know what this is. We're being punished for something we did in a past life. Mm, more like for what we did in our last assignment. <laughs> funny guy. My goal for the day is to get one quote from one celeb, and I'm out of here. Yeah? I don't know. I think there might be a story out here. Ladies and gentlemen, before we uh, throw out the first pitch, I'd like to do a little name dropping. Uh, the starting lineup for the celebrity team. Playing first base, the premier of British Columbia, Mike Harcourt. Coaching first base, the Minister of Tourism, Darlene Mazzari. <laughs> On third base, film and TV star, Jackson Davies. <laughs> On second base, Ocean Hellman. Playing shortstop from Loverboy, Scott Smith. Trey, you've been bouncing that ball for about 10 minutes now, man. You're gonna have to stop and talk to me sometime. How come you ain't playing baseball? Because I wanted to spend some time with you. Man, lose the bouncing ball. Why are you talking to me anyway? I said I didn't want to see you. I could be the only friend you got, you know. You should be happy I'm so stubborn. I ain't talking. Oh, yes, you are. No, I'm not. Listen to yourself. This don't count anyway. Of course it does. Well, then I won't even say this. Eh, too late. You just did. Shut up, man. See? I said shut up. Look, you're trying to stop talking and you're still talking to me. If you don't shut up, I'm going to knock you on your butt. You going to do that? Yep. And our umpire for today... MP from Mission and Coquitlam, Joy Langan. And uh, pitching for the home team, uh, Michael. All right, let's uh, play ball. Hi, I'm Eleanor. We spoke on the phone. Yeah, I guess Buddy Hackett had to cancel, huh? Ball one. I haven't even thrown it yet. Well, actually, he was supposed to be our first base boy, but... Base man. It's base man. Oh, so you know about baseball. Well, you could play. If uh, you... you know, I'd love to, but uh, I gotta go cover a fire. Um, how about you? I mean, this is your color. And... I wish I had, man. You knock up a girl, you're supposed to give her money for the baby. You never did. Yeah, but I never knew. Man, you never did nothing. What about now, Trey? Never gave me no presents or nothing like that. I swear to God, if I knew. Because of you, my mom had to do some things just so we can get some food. Wait, what kind of things? Bad things. Trey, what happened? You can't tell me, man. Where's your mama now? Man, you're just as bad as those cops, man. Trey. Leave me alone! Hey, go hang with the 1117 team. I'll be right there. Oh, man. Hey, kids! You were at the police station a couple of days ago, right? I just want to take your picture. Hey, wait! Wait! You little... Okay, I'm playing first. 
No, Eleanor told me that I'm supposed to be playing first. No, uh, you're short. No, Scott's playing short. Well, who's on second? Ocean, you're playing second, aren't you? Kid? Kid, I'm not gonna hurt you. I just wanna take your picture. Thanks for it. Yes, that's for it. Kid, I got 20 bucks on me. You can have it. Isn't he with you? No, I haven't seen him. All right. oh, not again. to the bone colors. Eventually, get it over with. But I might. You people are crazy having him here. You know, he killed somebody. Get out. I'm calling my lawyer. So Seattle police picked up the mother four days ago, but she wouldn't even admit to who she was until we told her Trey was up on murder charges. As soon as she heard that, she said she was the one that did it. So Trey was trying to take the fall for her. Oh, yeah, he still is. I mean, they both say they grabbed the knife and stuck him. Well, either way, it sounds like it could be self-defense. You know, I could almost buy that. Except she's already thrown herself to the lions by taking the two kilos of heroin over the border. Big motive there. Well, why would she take that chance? Now she claims she only wanted to get enough money to leave the country with Trey. Seattle police got to her first. Well, she's not going to get custody back, is she? Not if she's in jail. Oi! Six runs! What's that? This is cricket, man. And this is a cricket bat. I was going to use it in the game yesterday. You see? Cricket is a thinking man's game, boy. Better than baseball. I'll show you sometime. If you are my daddy, you gonna come to vote me and my mom? 
your mom might go to jail, man. I don't know. So that means I gotta come live with you? I tell you what, Mosquito, let's just see what happens. Either way, though, whether I'm your daddy or not, whether you come live with me or not, you stuck with me, man. I'm gonna be around. So I gotta start talking Jamaican and everything? <laughs> what did I say yet? No way, man. I ain't doing it. No chance. All right, then. You can just be yourself. Here, take a swing. What's wrong with this thing, man? Give me a real bad. Yeah, man, come on, come on. Take a swing. One swing. That's all. Joke, man. <laughs> no, it's a flat bat. You can't hit anything with a round bat. Go over here. Go over here. Do what I do. This. This. Stand up. No. Okay, I'm gonna bowl a ball and you're gonna hit it right over the fence, alright? Go. Oh, six rounds! <laughs> mm -hmm.